Shitoshi has spoken again. We're going to talk about what he uh, they said, and we're going to also talk about uh, an interesting development here related to uh, Shiboshis, which is Shiba Inu's NFTs and how they're going to play a role in the new game. It's interesting. All right. With all that said, thank you for your time. By the way, down in the description below, if you're interested, there's a link to Freedom 365. Check it out. It's a brand new podcast and video series that I'm starting with my buddy Zach. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's in the description uh, below. Okay, so what is going on with, uh, let's see, where was my, where was that article? There we go. All right, Shiba Inu lead de developer discloses new Shiba Inu de de Shiba Eternity details. So he's talking uh, specifically about um, in this Shitoshi Speaks episode, if you will, right? Um, basically revealing new details of how the profits from Shiba Eternity Game will be used in the role of Shibarium. Okay, so so uh, we all we already kind of knew that a portion of the profits would be invested to support the community long term. Additionally, he asserted that a part of the profits for from the Shiba Inu Eternity card game would be sent to nonprofit groups working towards good causes with nothing expected in return. While the developer does not specify the percentage for these projects, he asserts that no less than 45% of the proceeds will be allocated to them. So we have 45% of the proceeds of the game are going to go to basically support the community long term. Additionally, or some a, a, a portion of that 45 is going to be sent basically to charitable causes. There you go. Uh, we know that 5% is going to be uh, basically used to burn Shiba Inu tokens. There you go. Okay. And the 50% would be utilized for a, quote, trade secret that, trade secret that will, you be, will be used to ensure that the game fares well against the competition. So 50% of the overall profits of Shiba Eternity game we don't really know how they're going to be used, but they're going to basically uh, in, in be used to ensure that the game works long term, which, again, I applaud, right? This is not a kind of like, oh, get the game out there, then forget about it. No, they have a plan in place to ensure that the game is successful long term. Okay. So also talking about Shiboshi holders. So if you don't know what Shiboshi are, Shiboshi are the NFTs that were released a little while ago. So if you have or you are a Shiboshi holder, you'll be able to lease your Shiboshi to players of the blockchain game to earn rewards. Moreover, Shiboshi holders who cannot lease their holders, release their NFT, excuse me, will still receive some consolation prizes. Interesting. All right. So there you go. So that is interesting in that, in that, in that, oh, look, so NFT holders, Shiboshi NFT holders, going to basically make, get some type of reward. That's something we really, we had, we, we had heard about, but now it's starting to crystallize, right? So, and then finally, there's an interesting scenario here talking about kind of how the, 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 the game lore is starting to basically be developed or released. It basically is a story of interplanetary battles and evolutionary species. <laughs> So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and also that it is open-ended. The game is open-ended. Consequently, developers can always add things in the future as the game evolves. Again, a long-term plan. And a long-term plan even to cover uh, the development side of it so that developers can develop and make it even something different down the road. All right, that's what I got for you. As always, I appreciate you. Have a good one. See you.